friends and happy summer! Today I am going to share a project that I actually did and recorded last summer but never got a chance to share and I think it's perfect timing for it because a lot of us are sheltering at home so we have the extra time for creative projects potentially but at the same time we're planning maybe um, small road trips or vacations in the future so this will come in handy. This project is a handmade sunshade for your van or for your car and you might ask why did I make my own sunshade when I can buy one? First of all when I looked at what's out there for vans specifically it's super expensive and I was able to make my own super fun and unique sunshade for less than $60 and depending on what fabric you use you might be able to save even more. As you know an insulated sunshade is a great energy efficient tool for your vehicle because it's going to keep it cooler so temperatures are more controlled, you don't have to use AC as much, you're reducing um, carbon dioxide emissions, you're also reducing the amount of gasoline that you'd have to use and therefore saving money. So win-win-win all around. From the perspective of a sustainable, healthy, non-toxic home, which you guys know I'm super passionate about, you can use natural materials in this project and reduce the toxic burden to your liver because as you know, as we are interacting with things around us, especially touch and inhale them, that all goes through the liver. You would use natural materials in this project such as wool, cotton, maybe silk, and uh, Reflectix is generally non-toxic but if you are concerned about the plastic component of it you could maybe play with wool batting. That's something that I'm thinking about for maybe for my next project. Most importantly you get to have fun and really express yourself. Pick the fabrics that speak to you um, and, and make your van and make your car really express who you are and that could be a great conversation starter once you're on the road. To get started you'll need Reflectix. I went ahead and measured and cut around the windshield. It is a little bit of a challenging task so make sure you measure really well. I even cut out a little hole here for where the mirror is in the windshield. Also I picked out this really great fabric I'm super excited about. I love this pattern, um, tribal pattern. Next thing you'll need something that's gonna hold a sandwich of the fabric with the Reflectix in the middle. So some sort of trim tape or bias tape and of course a thread. I'm going with extra strong uh, thread that's, that's really good for jeans or even upholstery. In terms of supplies, of course you need your scissors. I only use it for fabric, they're extra sharp. Extra needles, you need tape. You also need pins or some sort of clips to hold fabric together. I think I'm gonna use clips. They hold the edges of fabric together really, really well and you don't have to make holes in the fabric and it's super fast to like put them on and remove them. To mark the fabric, you can use pins. I really like using chalk. I kind of make it a little bit sharp on the edge. And of course, before you get started, the most important thing for you to have is your sewing machine. This is gonna be your best friend um, unless you want to do hand stitching which could be really cool too. As, um, I made these coasters a while ago and this is actually a pretty cool stitching which could work for, for a project like this. First step, cutting the fabric. Reflectix and fabric is done. 
and I'm ready to move on to sewing. I'm going to have three sewing lines, uh, crease lines that are gonna go across so that this windshield um, cover can be easily folded into four parts and stored behind the seat or somewhere in the van. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go around and um, stitch everything together and then also use the binding tape to go or bias tape to go all around and stitch it one more time. A couple of challenges. One is make sure that your needle is able to take in this thickness. Another thing to check before you get started with sewing the actual project is to practice maybe with a few scraps to make sure that your um, thread tension is properly adjusted otherwise you might have some issues. I'm super excited it's getting close now. Thank you. 